Welcome back everyone to, this is, would be video number two in this series. So there'll be 12 in total. As I said in the first video, which was the introduction to this short series, there's 11 chapters we're going to cover because it compromises 90% of your test. Okay? The first chapter, if you're a barber, it's chapter four. If you're a cosmetologist in the black book, it's chapter five. If you're a cosmetologist in the New Fundamentals book, it's a two series. There's the red book and the black book. It's chapter five in the black book, okay? It's called Safety and Infection Control. The first thing you've got to understand is a concept called decontamination. And you should take some time and write this word down because it will help you in your life and in your exam. Decontamination. There are four levels. Beginning at level number one, there's cleaning. Level number two is sanitation. Level number three is disinfection. And level number four is sterilization. Again, you should take time to write these things down. Cleaning, sanitation, disinfection, sterilization. The two that will come most of your test, level one, cleaning, level three, disinfecting. State law, doesn't matter what state you're in, requires you to clean and disinfect everything before and after you use it. And if you cannot disinfect it, it says you must dispose of it, which is a really nice way of saying, throw it out. If you cannot disinfect it, such things like neck strips for hair cutting, they're paper, you cannot disinfect paper, you have to throw it out. Keep in mind on your test, cleaning, know the definition, a mechanical process, generally involving soap and water, disinfection, a chemical process. Everything must be cleaned and disinfected before and after use. Now, when it gets to disinfectants, there are three types of disinfectants that we use in this industry, and it will be on your test. The first one is called quaternary ammonium compounds. Now, there's a handful, right? You should get five points just being able to say it quaternary ammonium compounds, more commonly known as QUATS, Q-U-A-T-S. Do yourself a big favor. Look at the back of your barbicide bottle, not the barbicide jar on your station, but the actual bottle of barbicide. Look on the ingredients, and here's what it says. Quaternary ammonium compounds, abbreviated Q-U-A-T-S. Everyone knows what it is, although they don't know they know what it is, but you would better know what it is on your test because your test is not gonna say barbicide, it's gonna say quaternary ammonium compounds, or perhaps quats, Q-U-A-T-S. The state is not going to advertise for a private company called barbicide, but it will be on your test. The next one, okay, is called phenols, P-H-E-N-O-L-S. I always wondered how phenols could be P-H, okay, but it is, phenols, sometimes called phenolic acids, or phenolic disinfectants. They're not used very much anymore for a couple of reasons in no particular order. Number one, they contain formaldehyde, which is a known cancer-causing agent. So you're clean, but you've got cancer. It's not a good trade-off. The other reason they're not used is because they tend to rot plastic and rubber very quickly, so you'll find yourself burning through lots of combs and brushes. Most people don't use phenolic acids or phenolic disinfectants much anymore, but the words are still on your test. And if you don't know them, you'll get the questions wrong. The final one, and perhaps the most heavily tested, is an item called sodium hypochlorite. Sodium, S-O-D-I-U-M, hypochlorite, H-Y-P-H-C-H-L-O-R-I-T-E. Not the easiest word to say. Sodium hypochlorite. Everyone knows what this is, and they don't know they know what this is. This is Clorox bleach. If you do a little field trip to your local grocery store and go down the house cleaning aisle and pick up Clorox bleach, turn it over, you'll see it says sodium hypochlorite, 5.25%. There's your state board test. Okay? What is the minimum effective strength for disinfecting of sodium hypochlorite? First of all, you have to know what sodium hypochlorite is. They're not going to say Clorox. Just like with barbicide, they're not going to advertise for a company. You'll need to know what sodium hypochlorite is. And you'll need to know what the percentage is, 5.25%.
Now, a couple of other things in this short video. OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA. I guarantee you there is not a day that this is not on the state board test. You'll need to know how it applies to our industry. If you want to know the specifics, I can't really get into it in these short videos, but you will find it in our book. We have every question and answer asked this year in your state. The question, the four possible answer choices, the correct answer choice below, and then the page in your textbook where you can find it. You can find it on our website, www.cosmetology.stateboardexam. We have it for barbers, we have it for cosmetologists in both English and Spanish. The second agency you'll need to know is the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. For our test purposes, the EPA only has one function, disinfectants. We already discussed the disinfectants, quaternary ammonium compounds, phenols, and sodium hypochlorite. <clears throat> Those are the three disinfectants on our test. There's a hundred other ones which we don't need to know. The third agency, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. We will get into this much more heavily in the hair color and chemical services chapters or videos. Suffice to say, the FDA requires PD tests, also known as patch test or predisposition test. Finally, there's the Center for Disease Control, the CDC. Most of us learned a lot about this during COVID lockdowns. For our test, the CDC is the answer when the question talks about standard precautions. Now, to kind of close on this video, something else you need to understand, okay, is bacteria. Now, one day it's heavily tested, the next day there's nothing. There's three kinds you need to understand. The first is cocci, C-O-C-C-I. The next one is diplococci, D-I-P-L-O-C-C-I. The next one is staphylococci, and I stand corrected, there's four. You need to know streptococci, there's four. Cocci, diplococci, staphylococci, streptococci. I know it feels like you're gonna be a doctor, but if you wanna pass your test, you must be prepared. Some days they're not asked at all, some days they're heavily tested. You need to prepare for the worst. You know, my grandmother used to say, plan for the best, prepare for the worst. You need to know everything walking in. You can't just take a chance. Or well, you can, if you don't mind paying over and over and over again. We're gonna close this video because I don't wanna overwhelm you with material. I'm only giving you what's on the test. If you have any questions, give us a call, 760-534-4434. Remember, in addition to our book, which has every question and answer on the test, we do private tutoring, both barbers and cosmetologists. It's six sessions. Each session is one hour between you and the instructor, just the two of you, on your phone, either through FaceTime or WhatsApp. It's very affordable prices. They'll spend one hour with you for six different days at your convenience, six in a row, spread over two weeks, three weeks, whatever works for you. They will show you every single page in your textbook and with a highlight or underliner, highlight or underline every question to test. So give us a call, 760-534-4434. Thank you.